Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda, we have Nightcry here today. As you can probably tell by the title screen alone, this is indeed a survival horror game. Very much akin to something along the lines of the old school Resident Evil Silent Hill games. But the more important one that it actually resembles to is Clock Tower, because this is indeed made by the creator of the Clock Tower series, along with the director of The Grudge. It's kind of like a joint you know, coalition between. This is a game I've been kind of anticipating for a long time because I'm a big fan of the kind of like more of the old school survival horror games and more of the new stuff, the first person jump scare nonsense. And I've been actually expecting this game for a long time and I finally got my hands on it and the unfortunate thing about it is I like everything about it so far. The cheesiness of it, it's just very much akin to something you would remember from, you know, maybe the PS2 or PS3 era when it comes to the cheesiness of survival horror games. But the problem lies completely in the goddamn control system. This is a 3D game, mind you. For some reason, they decided to go with point and click to move, point and click to interact, point and click to talk to people, point and click for everything. You can't use the keyboard, you can't use a gamepad. It's a 3D game. You know when you try to click stuff in a 3D game? Even adventure games don't do that anymore because, you know, they want to give you some free roam on a 3D adventure game. And although it's not a legit adventure game, but it's a, still a 3D game. I expect point and click when it comes to adventure, not for a survival horror game. So that's my really, really big knock right off the bat against the game. It can be a goddamn pain in the ass to maneuver yourself around because of the entire point and clicking stuff here. But enough of the bitching. I do enjoy everything else, though. So let's get into the game and show you what Nightcry is all about here. So new game it is. I already had a save data going on over here, but, um, you know, we'll start off with a fresh one here. August 18, 2016, at 7.26 p.m. Mind you, this is not... It's a spiritual sequel to Clock Tower. You will probably re notice that pretty soon, but it's not like a legit sequel. I guess, you know, copyright issues and whatnot. But it's going to be very apparent that it's obviously a spiritual sequel to the entire Clock Tower series, especially if you're, you know, familiar with Scissor Man and whatnot. It seems you've had one too many drinks. Can I get you some water, ma'am? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I just need some air. I see. Let me know if there's anything you need. <laughs> yeah, I will. I gotta tell you, I've been in that situation way too many times. You know, it's kind of like, oh my god. I just need to go outside and get some air, because, oh boy, I am gonna... Probably not die, but pass out here pretty soon. Now, is it just me, or is it kind of weird that, you know, we have, like, a receptionist over here at some sort of, like, cruise line party, apparently, just, um... Playing arts and crafts in the main table over here, right? Really kind of awkward. Let me go ahead and talk to- Oh, yeah, and let me show you the controls. See? For everything, you gotta click. And if you're wondering why she's moving around so weird, I guess it's probably the high heels and the fact she's intoxicated. Let me tell you, early on, this game is annoying because of this woman, her maneuver. You know, it's bad enough you have to, like, you know, obviously point and click everywhere you want to move to. But the entire fact that she's apparently wasted makes it even worse. I mean, look at this shit. Is this really how it is, ladies, when you're drunk and you're wearing high heels? I really, you know, I really doubt it's that bad. <laughs> Maybe she's just completely toasted, though. Who knows? Let me talk to this guy. It sure is hot in here. Could you take my jacket? Yes, ma'am. Here's your number tag. You'll need it to pick up your jacket. Right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this guy was not happy one single bit about being distracted from his little arts and crafts project over here. Uh, I think we have to talk to him again, though. By the way, have you seen Harry? Who? Oh, sorry. Harry is a friend of mine. He's tall, short hair. I didn't see him anywhere at the party. Uh, someone came and left down the hall a moment ago. Maybe it was him. Okay, thanks. It's through that door, right? Yes, ma'am. Alright, so, um, another thing I will kind of knock the game about is the fact that you're not really sure ever what you're supposed to be doing. That's perfectly fine, I don't expect to be like, you know, like, the game to hold my hand and be like, Falcon, this is where you have to go next, but the problem is sometimes you have to talk to people multiple times. 
so you're not really know you don't really know when you're done. So what I would suggest you to do if you're playing this, be sure to click people multiple times until you've basically um, worn out their dialogue because um, sometimes without you knowing, you have to talk to people more than once to kind of get the entire scene to trigger. It can be a little bit annoying. It, it reminds me a lot of like Dark Souls, really, where you have to talk to like NPCs multiple times to trigger certain events, which is you know I guess not really too much of an issue, but sometimes it can be pretty bad. Please stop walking that way. I'm gonna have to deal with this shit the entire time, aren't I? I already dealt with it once, I have to do it again, too. It's just so aggravating watching her walk this way. And the running's even worse. Oh, that's no good. You might not want to pick at that, my friend. You want to say that, you know, don't pick at your scabs? Yeah, that's probably even worse than a scab. Of course, you know, she saw it, freaked out a bit, but that's it, it's over now. So, let's see. I, I like the pretentiousness of this woman, too. Hey, random dude, have you seen Harry? It's like, how many people must this, you know, attendant see the entire time over here in this cruise line? Oh no, I just remember this one particular guy, Harry. He made such an impression on me that I know exactly who you're talking about. Look at this fucking running mechanic. As you can see over here with the arrow I'm clicking over here, I don't think you have to constantly click, but I think if you double click twice, it should, you know, have you running that direction the entire time. So, what's really interesting is that if you try to go catch an elevator right now, it won't allow you to do it. Like, she'll say, isn't there something I have to do here right now? And without telling you what that something might be. <laughs> so, just through trial and error alone, I figured out that I had to talk to this individual right here. Why? I don't know, but we'll talk to him. Uh, let me introduce myself. I am Vigo Boradovsov, the owner of the ship. Wow, you own the ship. That's what he just said. Yes, it always brings me joy to see passengers such as yourself having a great time on my ship, especially because you're piss shit drunk. Oh, I guess I'm enjoying myself? Yeah, you could say that. Haha, <laughs> don't be afraid to speak out if there's anything we can do to increase your comfort. Alrighty. So, the voice acting comes in and out. It's very much like old school horror games or survival horror games as well. Um, not everything's voice acted, so I'm just not really sure when the voice acting triggers and when it doesn't. But this is one of the occasions where it doesn't. You wouldn't happen to have a lighter, by the way. I like to boil my prosthetic eye to sterilize it, but it seems like I've misplaced my lighter. Sorry, I don't have one at hand. I don't smoke, so... Wait, there might be something at the bar counter. And this is what he's talking about here. You know, the owner of the ship just hangs out in the bar with his little prosthetic eye in a, in a beaker. Just hangs out there the entire time, you know? Not creepy at all. It's a good way to bring in the business, I would say. It's like, hey, come one, come all. Everybody check out this cruise ship liner. We have the owner just chilling over here with his prosthetic eye the entire time. It's one way to, you know, harshen a buzz there. Hot towels and matches on a well-polished counter. Oh, you found the matches. Great. Let's come on down over here. <laughs> Let's have this man boil his fucking prosthetic eye right now. Oh, the clicking. See? Do you see how the camera? It doesn't work because the camera keeps switching on you. Oh, it's just so aggravating. What do you call this again? I used this in school ages ago. Alright, so to use items, you want to bring them out from your little inventory and then use the actual item on the thingamabob. <laughs> you know, thingamabob. There, that should do it as your eye boils away. Oh, thank you, young lady. You saved me. I think you're being a little bit too um, dramatic there, my friend. You weren't going to die because your, your prosthetic eye wasn't, you know, boiled. You don't really have to order to live, I don't imagine. Vigil's artificial eye is dancing in the beaker. Looking closely, it seems as if it's trying to make eye contact with you. Yeah, that's one way to put it. So this is the task you're supposed to complete before you can get on the elevator. How you know that? I don't know. The game doesn't tell you. <laughs> she just tells you in the elevator, there's something I need to do in this game uh, on this floor, which has apparently helped the owner boil his goddamn eye. You know, from looking for Harry to boiling eyes. The pair are conversing rapidly in whispers. It's hard to make out what they are saying. It could be a foreign language. Like, mind you, I I'm being facetious about the, the content so far. I actually enjoy it, believe me. I'm into this cheesy horror shit. It really reminds me a lot of the weirdness of um, Deadly Premonition as well. And I know the Deadly Premonition is kind of like an acquired taste. Not everybody likes that game. But, um, you know, I do like the weird surrealness of the game as well. And that's what this game kind of has. Like, really weird, cheesy, surreal feels to it. Um, I just really hate the controls. That's my really big complaint about it so far. And I really hope it's something they can work on, maybe add some gamepad support soon, because, good god, the clicking is just so annoying. Here you are! No wonder I didn't see you two at the party. 
Jessica got tired of the party, so I came along with her. I don't get why the best-looking guy here is, like, ugh, obsessed with Rooney. What a joke. Ah, uh, you mean the conductor Jerome? Yeah, I think that was his name. I'm not into slim guys, so... You're not into slim guys, huh? Look at that. Harry was looking for you, by the way. You should totally date Harry, Monica. Are you serious? I don't date guys with no future. Oh, Harry! Shots fired, my friend. But he wanted to talk with you about something. You should go look for him in the lower floor. I'll consider it. Alrighty, so I do believe now we could get on this elevator? Yes, okay. Not creepy at all. So yeah, if you would try to use the elevator after this conversation without triggering the thing with the um, owner of the ship, you would not be able to use it. So yeah, and she doesn't tell you what you're supposed to be doing. I mean, I don't mind that too much. It's kind of like, you know, just explore a bit. You'll figure it out eventually. But, you know, still, it's like, eh, why do I have to boil this guy's eye to go meet with Harry? I can't talk to this old lady over here. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just an old lady taking the elevator while I chant some sort of voodoo incantation over here. It's all perfectly fine. Well, you never seen it at a cruise line before? <laughs> Let me tell you, you haven't been to a cruise line until you get in an elevator with an old lady that chants voodoo incantations at you. That is where life is all about. Alright, so we're now at the lower floor over here. We are looking for... Why? I don't know. But she ran in through here, so let's follow along. That's what you do in horror games. You follow the terror, obviously. And that should be her boy, Harry. Now, let me tell you something right now. I probably am not the most hipster dressing dude out there. You know, I try to have some sort of style and fashion sense when I dress up. If I'm going on a cruise line at a party, who the fuck dresses this way? For a cruise line party, I can understand you're on a cruise, you're on a beach or something, you know, you have some shorts on, sure, that's fine. But what is this getup? At least have the shorts below your knees or something, or at your knees. You look like you you just shit yourself or something, and you're waiting for, like, mommy to come over here and change your diapers. No wonder Monica doesn't want to date this guy. No future is right. Hey there, I see you left the party too, huh? Oh, fuck, I double-clicked. Huh, it was just until you came by, babe. I think she asked him about if she if he saw a little, a little girl run by. Anyway, how's the party? You said you found a guy you like. I thought I did. He was alright, but not my type. In the end, I had to let him go. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. That's what Harry sounds like to me. Just a complete dumbass. That's why he would dress this way. Seen to me like he was more into Rooney anyway. Well, to each their own, right? Personally, she bores the hell out of me. What? Why? Were you watching me? And acting like you didn't know? You're disgusting. Go to hell. She could have chosen a better night to stand out for once. Okay. Again, multiple times you have to click. So, just always do that when you talk to somebody in this game. Don't get yourself worked up now. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> what? You think a soda will get you on my good side? Hey, you're thirsty, right? Here we go. What the? What is it now? Well, uh, something's grabbing my hand. What? I said something inside here is grabbing my hand. Oh, Harry, the Gregory Peck Act is a bit outdated, don't you think? I'm serious. Now you go ahead and you tell me that's not Scissor Man from the Clock Tower series, right? So let's see operating. 
Um, you could run in this game, obviously. Um, you will start seeing a little flashing thing, which means you're exhausted. She will fall multiple times like a cliched horror film. You know, you're running away from the villain and the people, it doesn't matter if they're male or female, always have to fall down because they're being chased and then they struggle to get back up. All those sort of like cheesy cliches are in this game, so it's, you know, it's pretty neat in that regard at least, but it can be a little bit annoying because of the clicking. By the way, if I hit right click, I can keep an eye on this creature right here. Which is actually pretty cool because if you double click and run, she'll continue running and you can keep an eye on this guy as well. But nope. Oh, she fucking... Get up! Not right now, it's not the time to fall. Oh shit, okay. And if I hit the middle mouse button, I will run, but it's going to exhaust me. And that's when you see the um, red flickering happen. And you have to stand still or just walk for a while before you get your stamina back. For a woman that doesn't apparently smoke, she um, has the, the stamina of a, of a person that's been chain, spo like, chain smoking an entire box a day for the last five years or something. Is that a good, you know, a good um, thing to compare it to? Probably not, but I'm being chased by this monster over here, so give me a break. That's so creepy. I actually like the design of um, Scissor Man. That much I will admit. Oh my god, it's creepy. Alright, so we have a, a door that we can't enter over here. Luckily enough, she didn't fall too many times. The first time I did this, she fucking fell like three times, and I was kind of like, really, this is not the time for this shit. So let me hide. Now, if you're familiar with um, the Clock Tower series, the old ones here, the AI essentially eventually starts adapting to your methods of hiding. Um, you can hide in a closet once, maybe twice, but soon enough it's going to adapt, and if you try to hide in the same place over and over and over, it will kill you. It will either destroy the hiding spot or just kill you straight up. Now, they have added a new feature here where is, um, you have to hold your breath on occasion too. And we might see that right now if I'm right. You're supposed to follow along this little icon over here. And what's really cool is it'll try to jump scare you. So that you kind of freak out. And lose tracking of that thing. You're, I think all you're supposed to do, really do is just, you know, highlight over it as it moves along. And it'll kind of track it for you. But um, the scare jump actually makes you lose control of that. So I think it's a really cool little feature. I will admit that much. So I do like the, the clicking. At least for that. But for everything else you have to do in the game, it's just so goddamn annoying. Over here we have a laundry room. The laundry room has like, uh, you know, washing machines or drying machines you can um, hide in. But, um, <laughs> let me just tell you, it's not completely safe all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Are you all right? You look very pale. Are, are you alive? What? Uh. <laughs> like, again, the cheesiness of it is so great. Honestly, you to tell me that this fucking food serving cart caused this much destruction to this man's body. It looks like he got hit by a semi truck. Look, his his insides are basically coming out of his mouth right now. All right, we found a key card here, which is good. We do need access to that to actually open up an elevator down the line. But look at this shit. This food cart crushed this man so much that he is basically like you know his insides are pouring out of his mouth over here. So it's cheesy as hell. I, I enjoy the hell out of you know what? That's my thing. I, I love cheesy horror. I like things that don't take themselves too serious when it comes to horror, so this is good. Now, I do believe we could trigger one more scene, which is going to more than likely cause my demise, but that's perfectly fine. I just want to show off. Um, uh, there's a few things you can get over here interact with as well, but, you know, it's a one-shot, so I'm not over here for the long haul. But I don't show off at least one more scene here. Catch register has been left open. It looks like there are only a few quarters in the register. I'll take that. I like how this woman has the time to steal money. Wow, she's over here running for her life, too. <laughs> like, you know, man with giant scissors over here killing people. I am going to steal four quarters. Well, hello there. 
Okay. So right now we have two up. Why would you run towards him? Like, why would you do that? Because the camera and the clicking? Yeah, exactly why you would do that. I really hope they add some gamepad support to this soon, man. Like, this would be really great with a gamepad support right now with the clicking. Oh my god, it's such annoying. We have two options right now, though. We could get killed, or I could try to f combat this um, thing right now. Let's rush. So cool. This room has another hiding spot, if I'm correct. I don't want to go in there, though. We have two options. We could just get ourselves killed really gruesomely, or I could try to fight this thing. I'm going to try to fight it because I've never done it before. I know how to do it now, but I haven't really tried it off camera, so I'm not sure if it's going to succeed. I might just fail at, you know, trying to fight it off as well. We might be able to fend it off with this. Do I do any sort of clicking? I don't know if I do. <laughs> okay, that's how you do it. Great. <laughs> He's so scared of the flamethrower. Not the flamethrower. I mean, I would be scared of the flamethrower too myself. He's so scared of the uh, fire as soon as you got to book it, huh? That's great. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. If you enjoyed what you watch and saw, Maybe. <laughs> the description below will have the information you do need. Um, give it a couple of updates. Maybe they fix these things. I hope they do because, you know, if you're a fan of the Clock Tower series, the old ones, and, you know, just survival horror in general, the old school survival horror in general, you might enjoy this one. I will catch you next time.